This is Phil from Rumors Music in Southport Store. Uh, I'm here today uh, doing a uh, which Clavinova should you buy video. So I'm here on the first one, which is the CLP 625. Now this uh, is a fantastic uh, piano because it is packed to the brim full of features that are great for uh, learners and beginners alike. So right off the bat, you've got a GH3 action, uh, which means that there's three sensors per key, which means you can be very, very dynamic when you're playing. subtle and you can be uh, go from subtle to loud as well straight away your, your dynamics can be really really good with this it's got 10 sounds and how you actually go through these sounds is uh, you've got a few buttons here so I'll change the piano sound keep on going you've got a few different sounds And you've also got a, a two-track recorder, uh, so you press the record button, you record, and then you can play over it. So, all in all, this is the Yamaha CLP 625. I'll see you in a moment, and we'll go on to the 635. Hi there, this is Phil from Rumi's Music in Southport, store once again. I'm here today on the Yamaha CLP 635 and as I was saying before this is a Yamaha Clavinova comparison video so this is going to help you out if you decide on which Clavinova you should buy but all of them have fantastic features that will probably benefit you in specific ways. So with the CLP 635 for example this is the first one with the new interface and uh, now there's a few more buttons on it but there's a few different piano sounds as well. You've got the CFX Grand, and then you've got the Borsendorfer Grand. Now the CFX Grand is a bit a bit brighter. And then the Borsendorfer is a little bit more mellow. sound absolutely beautiful but if you scroll across you've got more piano sounds as well uh, one of my favorite ones is probably the pop grand it's really 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 nice full of tone and depth you've also got a dual split feature which means that you can put um, say for instance choir and piano behind each other which sound absolutely lovely single piano sound just click the jaw split button again. you've also got the piano room as well uh, which means you can do things like change the lid position which is really really clever because it does change the sound of it uh, you can also change the touch curve as well now this is really interesting because if you're a beginner uh, then you would change the touch curve to make sure that it would respond better to your playing whereas if you've been playing for a number of years then you would put the touch touch curve a bit harder which means that you can play it more like a real acoustic piano uh, now, one of the other functions is, as well is the reverb control. It's the first one to uh, feature different reverb settings. So I'll just change it so it's on a reverb setting. And then you've got the intensity as well. So if you want to put it quite high, put it maybe 100 or 110, and then this is what it sounds like, full of depth. It sounds beautiful. This is also 30 by 30 watts, which means that it's 60 watts altogether. Now I'll be with you in a moment and we'll be next door on the CLP 645. See you in a moment. Hi there, it's Phil from Mummy's Music in Southport again. Again, doing this uh, Yamaha it's Clavinova comparison video. I'm here on the 645. Now, this piano is really, really good. Uh, it's the first one of the series to have the NWX action, which has got white wooden keys, which is even more like a real piano. Uh, and it's more authentic as well. So, it feels great. It sounds great. Uh, in this cabinet, you've just got everything that you need. Um, so, 
I'll just play the CFX Grand Sample. It's the same sample on the 625, but it does sound different because you've got 2 by 25 times 2, so it's actually 100 watts all together, and it does make a sound difference, 100%. <laughs> said uh, on the 625 but this one does have bluetooth as well which is great because if you're playing a song or you want to learn a song then what you can do is just turn on the bluetooth feature and you can actually play along to a song while you're playing it on your phone or your ipad which is fantastic it really is a great feature and um, so yeah there are a few different sounds on this one there's more sounds and um, but all in all this is basically the 625 but you've got the added benefits of having real wooden keys which is like a real piano that is the reason why you should buy this one now we're gonna uh, skip to the 685 which is the flagship model in a moment uh, i hope that uh, you've enjoyed this video so far i'll be back with you in a moment the Yamaha CLP 685 sounds absolutely beautiful now I have done um, a video on this before but just to go over it in this Yamaha Clavinova comparison video now this one is an absolutely astonishing piano uh, because it feels like a real piano there's just no better way to, to say that it's got grand touch which is like a concert grand piano now the difference between i don't know if you know the difference between an upright acoustic piano and an up and a grand uh, acoustic piano is an upright acoustic piano is hitting the string like that whereas uh, a concert grand uh, piano is hitting the string like that so it's pushing up uh, so that's why this has got grand touch and it feels like a real acoustic grand piano because the upright standard um, piano is is different it does feel different so essentially this is a grand piano in, a, in an upright cabinet and that's the best way to explain this so I've just played you the CFX grand sample uh, which is Yamaha's flagship premium grand as you can see in here it does sound absolutely beautiful <laughs> say the Borsendorf on the previous videos does sound a bit more mellow. times three which is 150 watts altogether and um, you've also got Bluetooth feature like on the 645 and um, but there's also more rhythms more drums uh, and if you come closer I'll show you the differences so uh, you've got others as I say rhythms you just click on rhythms I'll click on to the ballad you can just change the metronome to make it slower or faster so I'll just play along. previously and then to go into the piano room similarly with the 645 just click on it and you've got a loads of different features uh, that you can do and um, as I say as well with this one this does have a half pedal point as well and um, which means that you don't have to um, put as much pressure down on the uh, sustain pedal if you want to make it like a real grand piano which means that you can be very delicate with it and it gives different uh, types of sustain as well it's not just on and off is the best way to talk about it so yeah uh, join me in a minute and we'll talk about an all in all comparison over the uh, clever novas that we've um, looked at just now see you in a moment hello again 
Phil from Mimi's Music in Southport Store. Thanks for watching this video about the Clever Nova comparison. Hopefully now uh, you've got a better idea of which one best suits you. Um, so just to summarise, I went through the Clever Nova range 625, uh, which uh, obviously the first one with the CF engine, you've got the CFX and Borson Dorfer. It's got 10 sounds and it's also got ivory key tops and it's got the GH3 action as well which is three senses per kit. You've got the 635 which is the first one with the new interface. Uh, it still has the CFX Grand and Boston Duffel but with the speakers being louder it does give that extra depth in tone. It's the first one with the uh, reverb as well. 645 NWX action which is wooden keys and it feels even more like a real acoustic piano which is fantastic you've got the bluetooth as well which is great if you want to play uh, along to a song that you're uh, wishing to learn and then the flagship model which is the CLP 685 which is grand touch as I explained before it's similar to um, a grand piano uh, it feels absolutely amazing to play looks breath breathtaking aesthetically as well it comes in a variety of different colours and um, you've got uh, 50 by 50 by 50 which is uh, 150 watt altogether which is why you get such a big sound so you've also got the um, the upright cabinet as well which makes it look absolutely beautiful in your home whether you get it in polished ebony or you get it in polished white so my name is Phil from Rumi's Music in Southport Store as I say before thanks for watching I hope I was of help you can give us a call on 01704 532 145 at Southport Store we can also teach you how to play as well we've got a uh, music school upstairs uh, we can set you up with a free trial lesson uh, so please don't hesitate to give us a call on that number or email us on southport at rimmersmusic.co.uk. Have a nice day.